Hey there, everyone, this is Al Goblin Ghost Trick going nuclear and trying to fix the weird text that is sometimes blurry and sometimes not. Yeah, this is the time frame we're at. We're going in the junkyard, finally. Yeah, last time we got to be witness to a really uncomfortable little like, scene here, but we don't care. We're going to the junkyard. Oh, okay, you need to click it. If you press a button, the game thinks you want to go back, which, fair enough. Interaction with the universe. Here we go, it's Clock Zone. Everybody, Clock Zone, going through a cyber maze. Uh-huh, the situation has changed, that is true. Uh, oh, there's a whole bunch of- is that Ace Attorney? No, the hair is wrong, but the palette is there. I don't know, maybe he is? I don't know, Ray is just dancing and no one's even noticing. Oh, look at that! I am playing with no magnification at all. Basically, this is just raw game here. And the texture still gets kind of weird. Alright, well... I don't know what to think. No, I got things going on in the universe. So can I let me get, you know, yeah, my murder. Yeah, it looks like I got murdered. That kind of thing will happen. Mm-hmm. That happened yesterday. Yeah, the guy with the with the bird. Uh, that's right, and that's where things stopped. Well, not I mean no, that was like two episodes ago, actually. Yeah, it was the bird scientist. Oh, we gotta go to cop. Cobb's on the police station? That was quite a face that's on the way there. <laughs> okay, so we gotta go to Cobb's on? Alright, let's see what this person has to say. See, like, like I thought at first, just at first glance, he has the palette of Phoenix, right? But, like, the face and the hair is all wrong. Oh, she was a cop. Right, I, rem I remember noticing her badge before. Hmm, okay, okay. Cabinella of the SIU. Okay, I don't know why you say that now here, but very well. That's right, a ghost. Oh, like the mortician. So, wait, what do you want me to do here? Like, yeah, I can travel around. I can't suppose I can just go to... yeah, I cannot just go to the police station. Alright, so what will you have me do? That's a traffic tone. Traffic sign. That's me. Bag. None of these interact with anything. Nope. Uh, not quite. Like, I can be in this bag if I want. Okay, but maybe I want to listen to this guy. The, okay, yeah, death by chest bullet. That will happen. Ooh, 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 so you'll bring me to the... the cop death place storage unit area. Okay. Alright. Like him, everyone's just listening all day long. Oh, hey, look at that guy, he's got in case of rain, always ready. Oh, that animation on that umbrella was beautiful. What is his deal? The tension of a crime scene that is his deal. Like he's just out of an anime, which is like on purpose, probably. Oh, that saunter though. Man, imagine being just having your life sorted out the way this man has it sorted out. Come uh, on, alright. Oh, oh, oh. Phoning the precinct or something? Because I can be ready for that. 
that string on that phone. All right, sounds good. New info, trick time. Yeah, you gotta get on that phone. So we're gonna do that. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah, 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 and... Ah, made it. Oh, wait, who's that? Okay, that is hair, not a hat, I think. What is that? What does that facial expression mean, I wonder? Hmm. Guardian of the Park. Ah, oh, there we go. Guardian of the Violence. Staking out. We're gonna eat some steaks. Okay. So I was here, so I can go over there now, right? Yeah, trace is complete. This was not a very long scene at all. <laughs> Alright. I mean, that suits me. I gotta meet a lot of people. Yo who? Dude does not care about Mr. Cop Man. Honestly, that's kind of an insulting thing to just kind of say to someone who's already doing their job, like, anyways. Uh... In the junkyard superintendent of- Oh, so she's not a comm zone. Okay. Oh! Like, way over there, yeah, there's that door there. Okay, big middle latch, got it. So I gotta get there. All right, he's distracting everyone by dancing. Yeah, just watching this guy move is just real fascinating. There's an animator out there in Capcom that had a lot of fun. All right, trick time. Time to, so, okay, well, I can talk to you if I want. Hmm. See, this is why I feel like I need to to read these sometimes, is that it can be like fun information. So I could go to the park, but I don't think it's where I want to go, but that is an option. There's a few places like that where I have just like options for things. So how would I... Ugh. Like, how do I go up? Like, I don't... Because nothing here I can trick. Because you look at, like, the trick the trick text and nothing. I don't know. Let's keep reading text here. Maybe something... Well, like, maybe something will happen after time advances. This was a murder weapon. Yeah, it's just a pistol. Alright. Could be planted. Or not. I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know anything, to be fair. Trick time! Were we not already in trick time? Oh wait, I can go in this gun, maybe. Alright. Whoa. I'm gonna examine it. Look at myself! Uh, right here is... Oh, jeez! Um... What? Yeah, that dish, that platter on the ground. It's so jealous of you. I feel like they wouldn't just sit around after this gun just discharged randomly. And also, yeah, that was a second gun. Uh, at a distance away. Oh. Time for phone. It has lightning. Uh-huh. What? The crime case, obviously. What are you talking about, Ray? You don't know anything about anything. This is, let's gather info type of day. Alright, go. Yeah, now I can listen in. Oh, hey! You're all the way there, so maybe now we can just warp there directly. Super's office, would you? 
<laughs> oh man. Really wants to be able to wear green. He is a hit. That's in Patrick's day. Alright, well we can just warp there now. Yeah, I got a phone at the Super's office. We're gonna go to Super office like as soon as we want. I'm gonna be there first. Assuming oh, you should add more panache to your walking animation. Alright, well, you got things to say. Well, I got Super's office to visit. Here we go. Yeah, I got so many look I wonder if you like I wonder if you can go to locations when you're not prompted to and like things can happen. I don't know. Like I just do not. You have to be waiting on the other side of the line. Apparently I'm not the only one to represent us tonight. Yeah, sounds good. Sounds loading. It's really weird how the timing is made so that every time I have a chapter break, it's in the middle. It's in the middle of me doing things. The timing is just perfect for that. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, everyone's fate is to die eventually. One thing. Lin is there. Did Lin die again? She needs to stop dying. Oh, look at that bird, though. Such a proud bird. Uh, some piece of trash on her from the top of the pile of garbage outside. Okay. Yeah, he super intends. He intends to super. Oh, that bird fluttering. scenes here. Oh, look at that! This is the bird key! Yep, there you go. Just resting on his noodle. That feels like it'd be a bad spot to... Whoa! Ah, uh, just all the little animations are all so nice. Alright, and hey! He just has to listen with the stethoscope everywhere. Yeah, she's just... Can't stop dying. Um, okay, I can go here. I can examine this notebook, I guess. Pretty wild. Uh, it's blinding pink. Yeah, it is. It does kind of stick out. Yeah, just jamming it somewhere. Back. Oh, right, Lynn. Maybe I can speak to her. I can't get all the way up there. So I can get here, and from there I can get to Lynn. Hey! Hi, Lynn. You're a ghost now. Put your life on hold, please. You look a lot like your dog. On the inside. Imagine that's how you learn that you're dead. Why can't you just tell her her name is Lynn instead of going by this wild, like, indirect way? Maybe that's just the style? Maybe that's just how Cecil rolls? Okay, what's going on now? Alright, that shape just appear. <laughs> hey, look at that. Smiling and demising. Oh no, that's probably why she got off, ah, because she's trying to figure it out. Yeah, so yeah, uh, I had some reading comprehension misfire. She was a target all the time, and I feel like Cecil's death is like something completely unrelated. Or related, but like he was not the one supposed to die 
at first. Because she's the one targeted by all the assassins right now. Uh, yeah. Do you happen to know anything about that? She's got a thinking face. Hmm. I don't remember your name, but maybe I remember you. Yeah, I remember that. Okay, okay. But that's all? That's all you remember? That scene? Okay. You know how death works, dude. <laughs> Alright then, whoop boo boo da ba do 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 Let's go through an order. No reason not to. I'm assuming the game kind of makes you go through everything, but I actually don't know. And you... oh! So maybe you just get two choices? Maybe. Alright, well. Maybe not. Because, see, I thought a Fade of Black meant that the game was moving on, but maybe not. Whoa. Look at that light. Ah, uh, animation's so nice. Still is so nice. Yeah, that is wild. Like, the game just doesn't really address that. People live in parallel. But I don't, like, I don't mind that the game doesn't address it. Like, that's fine. It's a stylistic choice. Alright, so yeah, so I had basically two things I could ask. So consider that in the future, if that sort of scene happens later. Or no, never mind. <laughs> I just keep getting blindsided. <laughs> Yeah. That's right. Missile by you. She's very enthusiastic overall. And I, if this is her theme, it's pretty bopping, honestly. Like, I am rocking in my chair right now a little bit. Does it go without saying? Being dead is just everyone's confused and doesn't remember anything. It's kind of the worst, honestly. Mm hmm. That's super interesting how this can happen, though. I like that. Uh, that's accurate. Like, yeah. Hmm. That is such a jerk thing to say, though. What the heck? Look, I'm gonna disappear by sunset. Uh, sun up. Sunrise. Sunrise. Yeah, but I gotta do a thing. Wow. She is so... Like, I get it. But still, there's just this, yeah, there is an extreme aura of selfishness here. Like, it can be justified, and I don't deny that, but wow. Don't you mind going to slightly more detail? Cecil's a good guy, though. 
Listen, because this is a work of fiction, he will be rewarded for that. Alright, rewind time. We're probably gonna see the scene, but then that's probably gonna be it for today. Today's a... Today's a lore kind of day. Then <laughs> second death. Yep. Let's check it out. I mean, that's fair. Alright. Here we go. Four minutes before that. Here she was. Had with a big bright pink book. Having bad feelings. And suddenly, I was like, whoa, check it out. Whoa! Yeah, very well hidden. Is everything okay? And she's got a big old exclamation mark. That's, that seems like a very, very dangerous move to do while you're in custody. Then she apologized. Yeah. Basically, it's chicken all right. Oh, I see. He's gonna order food. One chicken dinner. That is... That is a vague meal. Just a chicken having dinner. And then you eat the chicken while it's eating, so you get two meals. Right? Here he is, just perfect timing. That confidence! Ah, It's beautiful! He doesn't know anyone's names, though. He's also kind of condescending, and by kinda, I mean extremely so. Oh, I, I thought he was further in the background than that. Okay, so they clearly know each other. It's like one point pointy hair. Okay. Okay, I mean, that's interesting to know. It's a personal case. We've just learned about that. Your legs are really long. Are you like... her dad? Like, that's the vibe I'm getting, but she keeps calling him Sir. Hmm. Something of interest. Oh, hey! Look at that! He tried to go right in the bullet zone. I mean, for the record, she probably wouldn't remember. Well, we need to... Huh. See, I thought I would go into the junkyard and try to find him there, but no. We're gonna be trying to puzzle out the situation here. From within the building, but we're gonna be doing that tomorrow. Uh, there's new info everywhere, though. Yeah, this is a cutscene kind of day. What about it? Deal with the mysterious- and I was trying to make a deal with a mysterious old man. Alright. Here's her. So she doesn't know me. Yeah, that's gonna happen. Ray is still dancing. This guy's dead. These men have not appeared today. That's just the way it is. Oh, there we go. Green detective. Yeah, and green and blue, ready for school. Has a lot to say about all of these. Old, odd blue doctor. The game acknowledges that his skin is blue. Here's Lanky and Loose Law Man. Oh, that's a good title. 
See, I feel like he seems to dance through life is definitely something you want attributed to yourself. Yeah, there's Park Man. Alright, well, I'm sure that's never gonna be relevant. Pigeon Man! You're just kind of assuming that. You don't actually know that. You don't know his relationship with that pigeon. Maybe they hate each other. They have to cooperate due to some curse. You need to look both ways before you cross the street, Cecil. That's how you don't get died.